Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to put some prep in your step. And we're going to talk about one of the more foundational techniques, and that's how to do a running total. Um, there's a couple of blog posts out there, uh, one from Jonathan Drummy over at Datablick. There's another one from Carl Al Chin from the Prep and Data website. I'll link both of those in the description, but uh, let's get into it. So I've got a really simple data set here, just five months and five values. We're keeping it really simple so we can really see and understand what's happening. So I've already connected to the data set, and I'm gonna create two steps. I'm gonna create a clean step, and I'm gonna create a join step. And now I'm gonna change the color of my clean step here so we can really differentiate. And the reason I created these two steps is because I'm gonna join the data back to itself. And for my join clause here, I'm gonna say I want my date from my main table, my left table, to be greater than or equal to the date from my right table. And what this allows the data to do is each subsequent date in the data set contains its own value and the value of the month previous. And when you think about a running total, this makes a lot of sense because the January value would appear the most times in the data set because it's there for itself and then it needs to be added to the next month and then the next month and so on. Uh, so when we add the aggregate step, let's see what this looks like. So let me pull in the date from the left table, the measure from the left table, and then I'm gonna pull in the measure from the right table and add that to my aggregated fields. And I'm just gonna add a clean step to make it easier to see and there we have it. There's our running sum. So for January, it's 100. For February, it's 100 plus 150. Then for March, we add another 300, then another 50 from April, and then another 100 from May. This is a really uh, simple technique, but it's important to understand this self-join because you can apply it in a lot of different areas for other use cases, uh, mainly when you're trying to compare a previous row to the current row. We'll get into that in another video, but uh, I really hope you enjoyed this technique. I hope you get some value from it. Leave me a comment if there's other topics you wanna see or maybe a different way that you would approach this, this technique. Uh, let me know, and I hope to see you in the next video.